game smooth yet sinister Coming through to diminish you And this here's the finisher <laughs> Check it out uh. What's going on guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web And today for the uh The less advanced players We're just going to get into uh The Winter Glades Blitz uh, we're going to do the previous levels before I uploaded a couple of days ago. That's the most difficult level out. Um, and that's the level you need to do in order to get the uh, the snow gemstones. Um, you can only find those on level 4. I've had a lot of people questioning me about that. Um, which is a key material in order to make the frozen myth sphere. You can only get those snow gemstones on level 4. The rest of the materials you can get on level three and two. So, uh, also, guys, there are some unique crafting materials that you get when you uh, finish levels three and four, I believe. Be sure not to sell those away, guys. Hold on to those. You will need them at a later date. You don't need them to make those spheres that we have now but you will need them later down the line guys so please don't be so quick to sell those away um because if you sell them away i'm i'm not sure if you're going to be able to get them back my guess is you're pretty much going to be uh screwed <laughs> so uh in order to prevent yourself from being screwed hold on to them guys just hold on it's not something nice here in the near future for us that we're going to be using those for don't know quite what yet but just please don't sell them hold on hold on be patient I know you may be a little tight on space but it'll be worth the wait right, let's go ham on this fire drake here fire drake and friends so yeah, this is going to be for the less veteran players, less advanced players, um, just so you know what you're up against if you haven't tried to do it already. Um, also, for those later on down the line, uh, this event may or may not be back. Um, Gloomy usually tends to bring these special events back later on down the line. So uh, for those who haven't been able to complete it yet, or maybe if they bring it back, then those later down the line who want to see what they're up against, you'll be able to check it out here. So, uh, that's what we're going to get into right now. Just use Orna to put the fire element on the squad and we just smack her up. Don't need to go too crazy. It's just a dryad, bruh. It's just a dryad. You're going down. Go and get your lumps. Next turn, you go bye bye. This is why Orna is so important to have for this dungeon. So you can paint your squad with fire and do some of that work. But there is also a lot of water units in here, so Orna is able to paint with both elements necessary to do that increased amount of damage. Critical unit, most definitely. All right, let's smack them up. Let's do this. Let's do this like Brutus. <laughs> Go. You guys are goners. Need to keep it going for that DC production, though. You heard me. Yes, sir. All right. Almost there. Let's just take these guys out. And then for Nito. Being the Nito El Amo Bandito. <laughs> That is that. Everyone should be right back up to uh, 
full BB gauge, then we can take on the boss. So on level three here, um, you guys want to be careful um, because this can either be a fairly quick boss battle or it can be a fairly lengthy boss battle. Um, and the critical unit that you're going to need to uh, determine whether or not this would be a shorter or longer battle is you're going to need a unit that is capable of defense ignoring guys because our two little frosty friends here um if you don't have a defense ignore unit you're only going to do one damage to them guys which could turn this boss battle into a long battle it won't be difficult by any means they're still fairly weak but the defense ignore will help you do more than one damage so that's why i brought my buddy dilma here and he has defense ignore he's going to be the critical unit in order to help us wipe this out with the swift and so um here's what i'm going to do now if you have a fairly uh weaker crew than i have here you're probably going to want to use dilma first for defense ignore I'm not really too worried about it, um, because once Dilma comes in with the defense, you know, we're pretty much going to wipe those crosses out with the swiftness, so, uh, watch them work. Watch them work. And there they go. There's our frosty friends. And we should be back up to full BB gauge. Now he's in some danger and just pretty much let the auto battle take it from here. This guy's a goner. Bada boom, bada bing. So, main thing, um, make sure you bring some defense in there, guys. You don't want to do only one damage to those two frosts because that can turn that last boss battle into a very lengthy battle. An unnecessarily lengthy battle. So, uh, defense ignore for the win on level three, guys. All right? Be sure to bring it. And that is that. So, there's a video showing you guys how to get through Winter Glades Blitz level three. Get your materials here that you need. Um... Once you clear it, I highly recommend you bring in like a Zell Knight friend because you need to form this dungeon in order to craft the new spheres. So and that's going to be it for this dungeon or this video, guys. Um, so don't forget, upper right, subscribe, lower right, check out the previous video. And if you wish to join the Facebook group, link is down in the description, guys. So thanks for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon, guys. Later.